Yo, what's up guys, you're Jinky Dink here, and welcome back to another video all about your comments. I try to do these like once a month, and I was, today's video is actually going to be an Unbreakable Sub-Zero video, but I'm having an issue with XSplit where it's like slowly kind of um, desyncing my audio from my video. Yeah, something to do with the capture card or something, I, I gotta look into it and get fixed, so I thought, hey, it's that time of the month anyways, if you know what I'm saying. I've never thought to check, but it's Dink Canadian. He just mentioned the PM and does say a boot anyway. <laughs> if he is, shout out to my fellow Canadian from Nova Scotia. What? I am indeed Canadian. I live in British Columbia, Canada. Um, I saw a video a long time ago that was like, uh, kind of like incorporate your country a little bit into your video, you know? Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Jacksepticeye, does it with his, uh, top of the morn to your laddies thing, you know, just kind of an ode to being Irish, and I thought, ah, people say that we say a boot all the time, so I figured that would be a good little thing to, I don't know, Easter egg to kind of squeeze in there, but it's funny how many people just legitimately get mad about that, like, they're like, you're pronouncing it wrong, pronounce it right, blah, 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 uh, I just, I just don't understand people, we just got too much time, I guess, that armored portal setup is so broken. This is in regards to Sorcerer Quan Chi. Um, it's very, very good. I will not say that it's broken because there are ways out of it. Um, but the idea with fighting Sorcerer Quan is not really to find a way to get around the ar Armored Portal. It's more to avoid him ever setting up the Armored Portal. Quan's, he has, he has decent pokes, um, but you need to know the frame data on them. Like if he hits you with a down one, a lot of the times there's no reason you should respect it. You can just poke him right back. Um, giggity. But, uh, like, his defense is just so bad. There's so many matchups where he doesn't really get a chance to move. And a lot of characters, they can do different cancels or lots of pressure. And then they build up enough meter doing that that uh, by the time that Quan actually attacks them, you can just break and you're out of there. So, but that's, that's the main point I want to get across. Is it, It's not really a getting around the armored portal. It's more just avoiding him actually setting them up in the first place. I love watching Dink. Buy? What am I buying? <laughs> but I am so glad DJT got top 8. I miss watching him. Yeah, you know, this guy, uh, I hear this guy really wants to get into STB, but, uh, you know, I, I see these comments and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Man, this game sucks. I'll be back for MKX and Injustice vids. This is something that I just started playing around with recently on my channel, was, like, playing different games and just doing different stuff because, you know, I, I like to mix it up a bit. But I realize that pretty much like all of you are here for Mortal Kombat. So if I do do another game, it's very, very rare that it'll take my usual midnight spot for um, my daily video. Uh, if you didn't know, by the way, I do make videos every single day, midnight Eastern time. Uh, every once in a while, I'm just a couple minutes late, but you know, it's just what I do. And uh, but yeah, so I try. If I'm playing another game, I always try and do it like usually in the morning. Like Unravel was usually like a 9 a.m. release. And for Honor, I'll just kind of stream it and put it up kind of whenever. Uh, I think yesterday I was still having problems with XSplit, so I decided to do that one video anyways, um, which sucked, but it is what it is. But anyways, that's I care about you guys, and I know what content you come here for and what com content you dislike, so. Too nice, man. I would never upload myself losing, especially that shit with Scar. That was bad. I lost pretty badly. I actually heard this a lot from like a few people, like why are you posting videos if you're losing, like what, what are you doing to your fan base? And people don't understand that like the purpose of my channel is for people to get better at Mortal Kombat and like really like get bridge the gap between like the casual fan and you know the competitive player. And if I have to have a show a video of myself getting my ass kicked so they can watch a high level tremor and maybe learn something from watching that tremor, I'm all for that man. I. I, th I don't think it's a bad thing at all, you know? Like you said, maybe I'm just being too nice, but, you know, I want everyone to learn, and bringing in all these other pros, like you got videos with Sonic Fox every once in a while, and DJT, and um, I think on the Patreon I posted my set with Biohazard. But, uh, yeah, I just want you guys to be able to come here, and you have so many tools to help you get better, and that's, that's the whole reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Dink, I feel as a player I've plateaued. I'm not really getting better, and most of the time I feel I'm getting worse. Salty lately has become something I'm familiar with and have a hard time getting over. I keep it aimed at myself, but tilting is a downhill tumble. 
How do you stay calm and focused when things aren't going your way? And did you ever get to a plateau point where you felt like you weren't improving? And what did you do to progress? I made a video on this a long, long time ago, um, and it was called just that, the plateau. It's a thing that everyone experiences. You climb and then you just flatline for a bit, and they climb and they just flatline for a bit. Um, it can be frustrating being stuck there, and you know I would encourage you to just kind of remember why you started in the first place, and just have some fun. Maybe break away and play a different character for a little bit or something, because. I've never been stuck at a plateau permanently, as always, it always goes back up again. And one day, it's just as simple as maybe you're playing a match and you do something, and you're like, oh, well, wait a minute, and then something clicks, and you go into practice mode, and you're like, oh, and then you link it to this and this, and then back up you go again. But this is just the progression of, uh, of being, a, you know, trying to be a more competitive, I guess, is you're going to reach that flat line. You gotta just push on through it. It will end. I absolutely 100% promise you it will end. And uh, just got just gotta be patient, man. Just remember why you started in the first place, and that's to have fun. Hey, Dink. I didn't know you were such a cocky selfish. I just wanted a shout out in one of your videos. Don't worry. Saying my name in it won't affect your channel. Guys, I have a very special shout out I'd like to make. Someone who has been nothing but supportive of me. And, uh, you know, just, you know, I just, I just want to say his name on one of my videos because I don't think it will affect it. But, uh, anyways, I wanted to give a shout out to my boy Darkblade. What up? Oh, Darkblade the man. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe because we make videos like this once a month. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys. In the next video. Accept your death.